In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Stuttgart. At number one, we have the Mercedes-Benz Museum. This museum is not just for car enthusiasts, but for anyone interested in the evolution of transportation. The museum's double helix design allows for two parallel audio guided tours, one focusing on the brand's history and the other on the diversity of vehicles manufactured by Mercedes-Benz. At number two, we have the Wilhelma Zoological Botanical Garden. This is a place where nature and architecture coalesce beautifully. The garden is home to over 1,000 animal species and a plethora of plants, including Europe's largest magnolia grove. The Moorish revival architecture adds an exotic touch to the experience. At number three, we have the Porsche Museum. This museum is a haven for car lovers and history buffs alike. It not only showcases the brand's iconic models, but also delves into the life and innovations of its founder, Professor Ferdinand Porsche. At number four, we have the Staatsgalerie. This art museum is a blend of the old and the new, housing masterpieces from the Renaissance to the 20th century. The museum itself is a work of art, with its neoclassical and postmodern architectural elements. At number five, we have the Killisberg Park. This park is a horticultural masterpiece, featuring a valley of roses and over 200 varieties of dahlias. It's also home to the Killesbergturm, a 40-meter cable-stayed tower offering panoramic views of the city. At number six, we have the Schlossplatz. This central square is a hub of activity and architecture, surrounded by palaces and government buildings. It serves as a gathering point for locals and tourists alike, especially during open-air concerts and festivals. At number seven, we have the Kunstmuseum Stuttgart. This museum is a modern architectural marvel, with a facade that changes from a reflective glass cube by day to a translucent spectacle by night. It houses an extensive collection of Swabian, German, and Swiss art. At number eight, we have the Solitude Palace. This palace serves as Stuttgart's peaceful escape from city life, offering panoramic views and a blend of Rococo and neoclassical architecture. At number nine, we have Königstrasse. This shopping boulevard is one of the most frequented in Germany, offering a mix of chain stores and local boutiques. It's a shopper's paradise, and a historical avenue rolled into one. At number 10, we have the Württemberg Mausoleum. This royal memorial offers not just a glimpse into the past, but also breathtaking views of Stuttgart and the Necker Valley. At number 11, we have the Weissenhof Estate. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a living museum of avant-garde architecture, featuring buildings by luminaries like Le Corbusier and Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. At number 12, we have the Weissenhof Museum. Located within the Weissenhof Estate, this museum offers a deep dive into the international style of architecture and the estate's history. At number 13, we have the Stiftskirche. This church is a blend of Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles and serves as the final resting place for the Counts of Württemberg. At number 14, we have the Linden Museum. This ethnological museum offers a world tour under one roof, featuring artifacts from Africa, the Far East, Oceania, and the Americas. At number 15, we have the Markthal. This central market hall is an Art Nouveau masterpiece, offering a variety of gourmet foods and exotic treats. At number 16, we have the Stadtbibliothek AM Mail Enderplatz. This modern library is an architectural wonder, featuring a cathedral like interior space lit from above by a glass roof. At number 17, we have the Fernsehturm. This television tower offers panoramic views of the city and beyond, and its cafe at the top is a perfect spot to relax and take in the scenery. At number 18, we have the Birkenkopf. This hill is a memorial and a viewpoint, offering sweeping views of the city and serving as a reminder of the destruction caused during World War II. At number 19, we have the Landesmuseum Württemberg. Located in the Old Castle, this museum offers a journey through the art, archaeology, and ethnography of the state of Baden-Württemberg. At number 20, we have the Necker Park. This complex is a hub for sports and entertainment, featuring the Mercedes-Benz Arena and the Porsche Arena, among other facilities. At number 21, we have the Stanseilbahn Stuttgart. This funicular railway offers a unique way to explore the city, taking you from the urban hustle to a tranquil cemetery in the forest. At number 22, we have the Gottlieb Daimler Memorial. This shed is where the first light sprinting motor was developed, making it a must-visit for automotive history enthusiasts. At number 23, we we have the Cannstatter Volksfest. This beer festival is the second largest in the world, offering a blend of traditional brews, amusement rides, and cultural events. At number 24, we have the Stuttgart Christmas Market. One of the oldest in Europe, this market transforms the city into a winter wonderland, complete with hundreds of stalls and a skating rink. At number 25, we have the State Opera House. Known for its world-class performances, this venue is a must-visit for anyone interested in the performing arts. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Stuttgart. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.